Hey, 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 what up, y'all? As you know, early this year, MGM Resorts acquired the rights to the business operations component of Cosmopolitan. Integration and merging of Cosmopolitan and MGM Resorts system is a complicated one that requires extreme legwork that could take a time frame of about one year to fully complete. They've now been going at it for many months without any significant updates to their integration process. However, I'm making this quick video because I have an update for you guys. And it's a major one if you dance with or plan to dance with Cosmopolitan, Bellagio, or Aria. All right, keep in mind Bellagio, Cosmopolitan, and Aria, they're conveniently located with each other in a triangle-like format. Cosmopolitan's rewards program identity still functions separately from the MGM rewards program that covers Bellagio, Aria, and a handful of other Vegas properties. And at some point soon, these two programs will be fully integrated as one, probably by the end of this year or beginning of the new year. MGM Resorts, they've been quiet and not really providing any integration updates, but uh, Cosmopolitan, at least they've been providing some low-key information that's useful. I received this email from the Cosmopolitan, and this offer is from the Cosmopolitan, but check it out. The concert that they're offering will be held at an MGM Resorts property at the MGM Grand. Any Kane Brown fans out there, let me know. Comment below. Maybe we'll go. Yeah, I'm always bumping into you. We will you do the same thing we used to? to? It's your, your place or mine. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. I was looking into the Cosmopolitan website to look for any integration updates, and I found this. Question. Hi, will I be able to sign charges at MGM Resorts properties back to my room at the Cosmopolitan? Answer. If you're a Cosmopolitan hotel guest, you can apply eligible food and beverage charges at Aria and Bellagio to your Cosmopolitan room. Likewise, Aria and Bellagio hotel guests can apply eligible Cosmopolitan food and beverage charges to their rooms. All applicable room charges are eligible to earn loyalty currency. So that means identity points at the Cosmopolitan and MGM rewards points at Aria and Bellagio. Woo wee! This is huge. All the other components pretty much remain separated at this point, but uh, at least with this, this is a huge game changer for many of us who are planning to visit Cosmopolitan, Bellagio, and Aria in the next few months. So, for many of us who plan to book at one of these three properties and for those who prefer to initiate room charges for our food and beverage bills, we have options that we didn't have before this partial integration. Now, if I'm booked at Cosmopolitan, I have some food and beverage credits I have to use. I have the option to go over to Aria and check out Carbone, Jean Georges, Bardot, and I could even go to Bellagio and check out Picasso. Mayfair Supper Club, Lago, Spago, and Prime Steakhouse. On the other hand, if I'm booked at Bellagio or Aria and I have some food and beverage credits that I have to use with them, now I could allocate that to some of the eateries at the Cosmopolitan. Bellagio and Aria, they offer a full roster of fine dining options, but uh, their medium-priced casual eateries are limited. And that's the area where Cosmopolitan excels. There's a food court at Cosmopolitan full of food options that are between $15 to $30 that can't be had at Bellagio or Aria because they don't have a food court. However, Aria will get a food court like the Cosmopolitan pretty soon because their buffet closed and they're gonna utilize that space to make a trendy food court. All right, well, here are the reasons why I prefer initiating room charges whenever available. One, I may have some food and beverage credits I have to use, whether it was provided from casino marketing or from hotel accommodations. Two, I may potentially receive a back-end food and beverage comp at the end of my stay. Three, potentially earn loyalty credits for the rewards program. Four, it simplifies and streamlines my expense ledger for the trip. Five. Sometimes the hotel will offer you food and beverage compensation during your stay because they cause some sort of an inconvenience. Yup, crap happens in Vegas. So, you can allocate this food and beverage compensation towards room charges you may already have, avoiding a predicament where you're forced to use this. Jeez. Yup, 
keep in mind food and beverage credits generally covers all food and beverage charges that are room charge enabled all right general recommendations if you're staying at one of these three hotels and want a room charge cosmopolitan excels in offering plenty of casual cheap eats mostly situated in their food court Aria and Bellagio's got you covered if you're looking for a fine dining restaurant or just a dining experience that's elevated. Picasso's patio seating overlooking the Bellagio fountains is the ultimate iconic Vegas dining experience. Hit up Lemongrass at Aria if you crave some Thai food in a five-star hotel. Yup, and let general manager Nailene know that I sent you. Maybe she'll hook you up with a bowl of rice or something. Oh boy. Well, all right. Let's see how all this pans out at the end of the day when it gets fully integrated by Cosmopolitan and MGM Resorts. But in the meantime, we can intermingle between Bellagio, Aria, and Cosmopolitan restaurants, which uh, opens up a whole catalog of restaurants that we can try and room charge. Ooh wee! If you're still in here, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button and let my YouTube bosses know. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. All right. Thank you for watching and please come again. Bye bye.